Hey, what's up guys? This is Team Hard Life Captain Abisakuchi and I have finally made the Grand Escape to go wet some lines and I figured while I was going to do that I wanted to go ahead and get the Go Fish camera on scene and underwater to see what was going to happen with the bait. I had heard there was some black tips caught out here. So I figured I'd come away from lines and see if maybe I can catch me some dinner because, you know, I like the smaller black tips, three to four foot wings. And so that was my goal out here was to get some of that, but also see if maybe they were uh, out here in schools or is it, you know, a one hit wonder kind of deal. So I've got the focus camera set up and I still got it set up with the shark from the last time that I caught a small or that four and a half foot fine tooth. And he had his landing and look, you can already see what's going on. Yeah, gotta bite, gotta bite. Yeah, yeah. I think I gotta bite. Got a lot of stress on my mind. It's a nice day to go. Yeah, I got a line. I'm a caller, the whole team. So when throwing this underwater camera, I have caught up on my main line. You can see right there. Yes, that is a piece of pompano. That's what I'm using for my bait. But you can see my surf weight is sticking the way it needs to. However, the current and the big waves that are coming through are still moving stuff around. But it's nowhere near the shallow water that I have thrown this camera in before when I was fishing from the beach. So, let's see what it does. Will it untangle or will it stay on there? But this also kind of gives you a heads up too, you know. Sometimes that's where your bait lands. It lands on your line and something comes up, takes it, cuts you off. Well, there you go. It didn't take long and the hook came untangled from my main line. So now you can see that the surf weight and main line are in line, but that's part of this whole underwater camera scenario. I'm trying to keep it to where the bait is far enough from the camera, but it also too allows it to give kind of a area of view of the bait being taken by whatever it is so we'll see how that reacts and you can see how the bait is staying down instead of kind of in the air and yeah camera's working the way it's supposed to
So as I sit here and I'm looking at this video, I know the water's about 10 to 12 foot deep and we had three to four foot walls of water coming through some big waves. You can see that even on the bottom, even though it's nice and clear, my weight and bait are moving. Well, not really my weight, but my weight. Uh, it's early in the morning, guys. I haven't had my coffee, so my float system with my camera is moving with the current and stuff like that, which is good because it's also giving me a lot of angles of water around it. It's not just pointed in one direction, stuck in the current, which I like that because it's also too showing that the current is not really that bad out there. The power of the wave coming through is, but when it moves my camera, we're getting a whole 360 degree um, view of the underwater scene that's down there. And as you can tell, there's no perch, there's no bait, there's no fish right now. Why is that? Well, another thing that I did notice is that when I was barely getting the cast out, we saw a pot of dolphins out there. So did they really scare everything away? I don't know, but we're about to find out. Thank you. 
Well, as you can see, it's rocking back and forth between my leader and everything else. And that goes to show you guys that when you do cast out off up here, your line ain't completely just sitting on bottom. It is off the bottom. It's kind of free floating. And that's what a lot of people need to understand and that when sharks find a bait, they start circling it. And sometimes their line just, or your line gets caught in their mouth because you see how quickly they react. They're not really scared by what's around them to a point you know and we always believe that oh man if my bait's hooked on my weight i'm never going to catch anything or if it's twisted up that's why i haven't caught anything you know these are all the things that we take in consideration when we're not catching or we pull it in and it hasn't been touched and you know there's so many things so many questions that never get answered because we don't have a camera down there to see what's actually going on and i really wish i could have a camera sit above all of this stay stationary above my weight and bait and all of that so we can see how it naturally would do you know in the surf and stuff like that obviously it kind of gives you an idea because the bait hasn't come off the bottom it has only moved only because the float on the camera is catching the current and stuff like that so will it really move this much in the bottom i don't know and that's a really good question to ask but how do i get my camera to sit above or far enough away to see everything and not move my gear you know the way it is i mean it's all over the place with the waves and granite like i said surf weight ain't moving you see it locked in that place and it's not moving and that's another good reason for this video is because y'all see how my surf weights work these are the stainless steel surf weights we created back in 2002 and pretty much changed up the whole game of how we got away from copper surf weights to what we're using now and these are those stainless steel surf weights One of the other things I wanted y'all to take a notice in, you see the the ribs on the bottom, the sand? That's pretty much the way our sandbars look. You know, they, they go on and then they end and then a new one starts and stuff like that. And I'm talking left to right. And that's kind of the way the beach is, just on a grander scale. Those are the way the sandbars are. Hey, there's fish. Yes. Yep, there's whiting. Hey. So the dolphins did scare them all away because around this point it was about 30 minutes later and I casted my lines toward the dolphins just to see if it would spook them off and stuff like that and maybe it did because I have not seen them and now we got life on the bottom. So yes, I do believe that the drum did scare away all those bait fish because they, they were swimming in that certain spot there for a while and they did not move until I cast it in that area and then they disappeared. So, that is nice. Good to know. So I did learn something off this video. 
and we got more footage coming so stay tuned guys this is team hard life captain albert sartuche if y'all have not subscribed to our channel y'all need to we need to get to that 10,000 subs very quickly